Well, I love, I love the fact that it's low impact on the environment and second by um, the experience you have from being able to come into beautiful coves or quiet areas, estuaries, and not disturb anything. Stephen Ree has a passion for kayaking. It's his way to connect to nature and his surroundings. It gives you a, a way to see things from the water that you normally can't see being on a bigger boat or it's you're really low to the water and, and you're really part of the body of water. So it's an experience that you can't explain until you've done it. That's what made him fall in love with actually building and making these vessels. We like kayaking and we love the product, the whole idea. The uh, giving people something they want for personal use was important to us. First designed in Abbotsford and first built in Summerland in the Okanagan, Seaward Kayaks has grown and produced thousands of kayaks over 30 years. Today, the company is located in Chimanis. Okay, well, Jack, yeah. take a look at the new seat that I created. Stephen Ree and his wife Jackie don't get to kayak as much as they used to, but they are always trying yeah, to find new ways to make the kayaking experience just a little more comfortable. It's much more comfortable, yeah. At its peak, Seaward was producing four fiberglass kayaks a day. Today, it's two. That may sound low, but when you realize just how these are made, it changes your perspective. Everything about Seaward Kayaks is hand-built. Everything from the start to the finish. We make it, all the parts ourselves. We make the seats, we make the rudders. So everything's 100% hand-built. It takes about 30 hours to complete one kayak, but to design it takes about 200 to 300 hours. Every part takes skill. There isn't a single part that doesn't take skill. There are about 15 employees working here. Each one had to learn how to make these because Ree says you can't go to school for this. Ree takes pride in the fact that this is truly a Canadian company. There were a lot of companies, but they're pretty much gone now. They've either closed their doors or they've been bought up by Chinese companies. So I think we're about maybe one of the last companies in Canada. Last year they wanted to expand the business, so they decided to appear on CBC's The Dragon's Den. We primarily did it to feel out an opportunity to expand our, our business to rotomolded plastic kayaks. After making a deal with one of the dragons, they decided they didn't want to expand and actually wanted to keep it small. Ree says the quality of plastic versus fiberglass is incomparable. While these beauties don't come cheap, ranging from about almost $4,000 to $5,000, they can last a very long time, which may be one of the reasons some of these kayaks have won awards for almost eight years in a row. And while some of their worldwide clients may never have heard of Shimanis, they now know where their custom-made Canadian kayaks come from. In Shimanis, I'm Shita Singh.